Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, I will be discussing about the algae issues in Planter Aquarium. Much like other hobbyists, I also encountered the algae issues in Planter Aquarium and I feel like dropping the hobby and continuing with something else. But uh, after the internet research, I found that they can be removed from the Planter Aquarium by certain steps. As you can see here, I have plants covered with black algae and these are called black beard algae and they have to be removed from the planted aquarium in early stage. So I am following some steps to control the algae growth in planted aquarium and you can also do the same to help remove the algae from a planted aquarium. First thing is that you can manually clean the surfaces that are covered with black algae. If the black algae is at early stage then you can easily clean it from the plants. If you have not cleared it at the early stage then you have to cut off the leaves that are covered with black algae or you can clean it using hydrogen peroxide. But that is not an effective method as white patches are left by cleaning with hydrogen peroxide. We can also clean the surfaces using brush. So this is the most effective means that is manually cleaning the surfaces. The more you clean it with the brushes, the more effective it will be. Wherever you see a dark or brown patches, they are all algae and you have to manually clean them using the brushes without disturbing the decors or damaging the plant leaves. After cleaning the surfaces and doing a water change, this is my planted aquarium which is looking as brand new. You have to also clean the filter and most importantly about the lightning, you have to keep the lights only for 8 hours or less hours. The more you keep the light, the more there are chances for grow algae growth. So if you are feeding the fishes too much and keeping the lights on, that may cause more algae growth. So always feed the fishes less and keep the lights on only for 8 hours or so, so that the algae growth can be controlled. Feeding too much and uh, too much waste and debris at the aquarium bottom may cause the algae growth again. So here it is my planter tank looking brand new. So one of the key features of checking the algae growth is manually cleaning the aquarium, keeping the lights low and feeding less. You can also use algae cleaning organism. Check the cards about to know more about such organisms. This is my turtle and it has grown bigger. So a pond like thing is essential for this turtle. So I will be trying to build it very soon. So here is my discus tank going well. It had also some brown algae appearance. I have cleaned it all. I am hoping to breed some of this discus but I don't know which is the male which is the female. So these are my discuss. If you can guess out which is a male and female, do tell me about it.
I think my turtle is too big for this tank. It always pushes this filter nose and it kind of bend always. There you go. Now it's okay. This turtle produces so many dirt that in within two or three days whole dirt will spread in this aquarium. So it is, this turtle is very big for this aquarium and I need to do something about it. If you can help me out, you can also give me crowdfunding to help this turtle build a bigger pond or like something like that. It will be much appreciated of you. My cat Gurli. He is very cute. I like him very much. Say hi, kitty. Hi. That's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Give this video a like and share it with your friends. And do subscribe for watching the upcoming videos. Until next time, bye and take care. And thanks for watching.